Okay, YouTube, let's build the APK uh, from now so that we can debug it on our Android devices um, and have an Android application. So if I do an ls in this directory, you'll see all the relevant folders in the main.py uh, reside here. We're going to use Buildozer to build the application. I also did this in Android, in the Android audio recorder. I believe it was the last tutorial. I'll leave a link on the screen right about now if you want to go and watch that. All you need to do is install a Buildozer and then create your Buildozer dot spec file so let's do that like so bulldozer in it All right bulldozer dot spec what we need to do is open this with a text editor and we just customize this text file to our liking so we have a title I'm going to call it uh, nmap on android and nmap on android or it can be nmap on and let's do all lowercase android dot test source file is going to be the root I like to leave this empty just in case you can customize it later um, to your liking Let's come down here, we'll leave that, we'll leave this, we'll comment out this, which is the version, as we're going to use this method here, and let's just put um, 0.1. Requirements equal, Kivi, let's use the master branch, why not? That's how you do that. Let's come down, and the next important thing would be the permissions. The full screen, yes. Android specific. Android permissions. Of course, we need the internet permission. I'm also going to add a couple um, read and write external storage. External storage. We do not necessarily um, need these permissions right now, but we may in the future, and it's better to have the permission there um, than be missing it. Okay, so we've got read external storage, write external storage. That's about that. That's all good. All the way down here, and the next important thing would be the log level. This is for iOS. I'm going to put the log level to 2 and warn on root equals 1 and we're basically done hopefully without any errors this will build our application if you're doing this for the first time it's going to take around 5 to 10 minutes um, this is the first time I'm building it in this directory so it's going to take that long so I'm just going to pause it and um, come back when it's done and have it running on the device and see if the if config function that we defined works um, this is the command to get it started you can also do a deploy I believe uh, which will deploy it onto your device okay so I'll see you on the other side okay so it looks like we're done we've got no errors so that's good and let's go up here this is part of the output that you're gonna have it's not gonna show it all because there is a lot and if we navigate to our bin folder we have an Android application alright so I'm gonna copy this over to my Samsung and um, see what happens right so I've got the APK here I'm actually going to copy over to my Nexus 7 so let's do that copy and replace yes copy and replace the one I've got on there right at the moment it's got more functionality but we haven't got there yet so 
Let's just replace it with this one. Alright, so that's done. Let's start the screen recording on the device. Okay, so that's all good. And let's go and just um, before I run this, this is a great um, application catalog. Okay, uh, you can actually um, find particular commands and uh, find things that are running on your Android device. So, for example, I've typed in py there, it will show me anything running, um, which nothing is running at the moment. So, let's just get out of that for now. Let's navigate to our APK, which would be in our SD card. Let's ref refresh this and go to the APK we just put on there. I've currently got one installed, so it's going to ask me, do I want to upgrade it? Yes. Yes, install. Make sure your Wi Fi is on because we haven't put any try except um, just in case. And with any luck, we should have the if config output. Once this loads, it may take two seconds um, if it's the first time you're loading it. And it should load. There we go. Everything's nice. And we've got our if config output. Okay. We've got nothing aside to the other buttons. I think it probably will crash if I press this. Yep. Alright. And as I said, Catlog is a good application to debug with. Alright. So it searched for all the PY files. Um, and you can go through and see what happened. As you can see, it's loading Kivi. All right, so we've got an application running on our Android device, um, successfully running the ifconfig command. Now we're going to get into some nmap scanning action in the next uh, videos coming up. All right, guys. For, so as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you watch, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I will appreciate it. Keep coding, keep being awesome, and stay tuned. See ya.